Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen. Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Mode. We are going to be firing straight back into the game. We're not going to screw around too much. And we are going to try and... This is not where we started. Oh, no, we were cutting down al alpine trees. Sorry, I thought we were halfway building something in the last episode. But we were halfway through building something. And then we needed to start getting wood. We ah, perfect. I do have one single mod enabled. I don't know if I'll keep it on forever. It's called Tree Capitator. Basically what it does is when you cut down a tree, it cuts down everything above where you just hit the uh, log. Unfortunately, the way it detects whether or not you're actually cutting a tree down is a little bit fiddly. So you got to go straight from the base every single time. And we'll do this to get a bunch of alpine logs and we should be absolutely fine. Oh, nice. I love this. Uh, it also degrades your axe at the rate it would take to take down all of the logs anyway, so you're not really balancing anything too much when it comes to tree capitator. Awesome! I also tried installing a shader pack to make the uh, water look really, really pretty, but it, I just couldn't get it working. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go around and we're just going to cut some trees down, which hopefully going to get as much of the wood as we possibly can. Then we're going to go back to our main base and we're going to start getting building which way was it actually i don't remember which way our base was it's probably that way why would we have gone in any other direction honestly like when we started this here map up it was so cursed it was such a cursed run all right we'll get all of that and now we'll cut down this tree and we broke our axe i'm actually gonna go ahead and i'm gonna place that straight back down here underneath there and we're going to make another axe. I think we could probably just get away with... Yeah, just making a crafting bench right here. We've got enough sticks. I don't know if we've got cobble. We do have cobble. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and stick it right in here. Uh, no, that's in the wrong place. We need a axe, not a pickaxe. Good. There we go. One stone axe. Let's try and fill up our inventory with this. Because we do kind of need all of these materials. Like, a lot of materials. We're going to be making our base mainly out of... The alpine wood we have here, and also cherry wood, I think is also going to be a big one. Good, drop that one, and this one's next. Nice! God, I love this mod so much. Honestly, like, I could still play this entire game vanilla and just be happy that I've only got tree capitator on. I don't know why it's not, like, added as kind of like an option into the game anyway. It's such a, a fierce quality of life that you never know you need it until you try it out for the first time. Okay, let's go ahead and fell that as well. And let's go ahead and drop this one as well. Excellent. What is in there? Uh, looks like death. I'm not going down there whatsoever. You can pay me enough to go down there. Let's drop this one. This one is so nice for clearing out like jungles and stuff as well. Jungles are honestly probably my least favorite biome as well as the tundra. It's just the same shame that there's such pretty trees in the tundra. Okay, good. Knock this one down as well. I saw the savannah as well in the last session we played as well. I quite like that location. Maybe we'll put a base over there if we can too, but I'm not terribly concerned about getting a second base until we get the first one up and running. Because this first one, it's going to be a little, a little bit jank looking, but it's still probably going to function as our main hub of operations until we at least get to a different area. Uh, right, so we're out of X. There we go. It's gone. Let's go find that crafting bench again. Pick up everything else along the way as well. Not a lot, actually. I think that thing is just taking a stick and he's running away. Oh, well, he can have it. I don't mind. I don't mind whatsoever. We are going to get another axe. We want a stone axe, don't we? So let's go into the tools. Here they are. Stone axe. Done. I quite like crafting it first before I, you know, kind of commit to... Do we have a bed? No, but we can make one at the crafting bench here, which we are going to do because we are playing hardcore. And we don't necessarily want to lose this entire save. Right there. Bed. Good. We'll keep that here. We'll sleep in it overnight. Probably outdoors as well. In the snow. Which is a, a pretty good recipe for um, dying. IRL. But fortunately this is a video game. So we don't have to face such consequences. Let's start cutting the rest of these down. Nice. One there. And this one can go too. Great. Pick up all these saplings as well. Because they're really, really uh, nice to have. So we can plant them back at base rather than having to go all the way out here every time we need more wood. Uh, this one can go down. 
I also quite like how these trees are just straight up. There's no like, there's no fiddly branches or anything like that. And the gigantic height of them is, is pretty generous as well. You definitely get more value out of these alpine trees than you do out of the oak. It's just a shame as well, because you got to usually set up scaffolding to get all of the, all of the logs out of it. All right, how's our inventory looking? Really full. We've got a cartography table here for some reason. I don't know why. I also can't really see the sun in the skies. We might be in a bad spot when it comes to knowing when nighttime is. We don't really want to get distracted, necessarily. By cutting these trees down and then get snuck up on by a creeper, which has happened in these playthroughs already. Okay, good. Excellent, and we'll get this one too. We'll start picking all these up. Nice. I think we can also plant these trees really close together and they won't necessarily uh, stop each other from, from growing. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, whether or not we can bed ourselves by putting this bed down. No, we can't. Unless there's a thunderstorm, we should probably also eat because we can starve to death in hardcore. Good. And we're full. Nice. Uh, we don't have any durability left in the axe, unfortunately, so... Let's just break it. Why isn't it breaking against the grass? Does it break against snow? Yes. Okay, good. Right, so we probably actually have enough to get away with what we want to do. So let's go ahead. We'll go and do a sleep because I know it's probably getting to nighttime now. We'll pick up this bed and whenever we see like a monster or something, we'll just throw down the bed, get into it. But until we get home, we should be pretty good anyway. We also probably want to get a map sorted as well. Because maps are kind of a little bit fiddly too. And it's better to have one. Oh my god. <laughs> death. This place sucks. I absolutely hate the tundra. It's always death. Alright, we're sleeping. Also, apparently I'm going to respawn here. Uh, I also, uh, I changed my player model. So if I take off all of this stuff, you'll be able to see a custom skin that I made for myself. I'll go ahead and show you once I have kind of gotten back to base. I'm looking for pockets of snow as well. I don't want to fall into anything. All right, we're at the plains. We, we don't want to go back there ever again. That's a horrible place to be. Uh, we got some bees over here too. I wonder what the bees do. I wonder if like you light a fire underneath the beehive and they will go to sleep. Because that's kind of how you, that's how you do apiaries in real life. You got to like smoke them. You got to smoke them and they go to sleep. They also go to sleep when it's really cold, but you can't really artificially create that. Oh, almost just fell into another pit of death. My god, this place is really unforgiving. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame too, because on the Bedrock Edition, we got such a good spawn. Such a great place to set up a base. Right on the beach side. Bunch of sunken ships all over the place. Uh, that looks promising. Oh, someone was right. I think that somebody mentioned last time... Wait, is that magma? Somebody mentioned last time that there was a kind of broken portal out next to the ocean. And it's nice that I see that there because we can use that to our advantage. Let's go under the water and we'll sprint through. I'm also pretty much done with swords. I'm going to be using axes exclusively thanks to Gunner and his little tutorial on what to do yesterday. What? Why is that stone on fire? <laughs> I don't really want to cause a forest fire or anything like that. Oh, Salmon. So we can kill those guys and we can go and take their meat and we can eat their meat for some delicious HP, eventually. How did someone see that? I don't even think that, yeah, we didn't even go in that direction. That's supposed to be where our base is. Maybe we want to see what else is over here. Maybe we can kind of set up in this kind of central area here. Might be a really good idea. Perhaps, perhaps that's a good idea. There's a lot of sugar cane over here too. Nice. Good to actually, we'll take some of that because we don't have any with us and it's probably better to kind of have than not. Because when we start planting it, it grows like crazy. We can graft into sugar, which we can then use to make like pies and stuff, pumpkin pies and stuff. Oh, what is it near the portal over there? Nice. That's good to know. I kind of like this. Actually, I, I do really like this area. Maybe you want to deep is that? Maybe we want to set ourselves up a base just like way down there. Like an underwater base. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe we do that. We'll get some sponge first. We'll get some sponge and then we'll think about that. Oh my god, it is near the portal. Cool. 
Nice. All right. So this is also good information to have. Maybe we want to set up shop here instead. Oh, heaps of nuggets. Got a golden helmet with aqua affinity. So that would give us mm, submerged mining speed. I like that. We got a golden apple here too. We can't actually take any of this though, unfortunately. So going to have to leave that there for now and hope a creeper doesn't like blow it up or anything like that. Okay. So we could still probably just get like a base set up around here as well. I'm not too committed to the base that we already started set. Oh, what's that up in the distance? I'm not too committed to the one that we have already kind of started working on because we only got a floor up. Is that a yucky jungle? Ugh. Hate that. Gross. Yuck. Jungle is probably my least favorite biome next to the tundra. Because you just, you can't navigate it. Whoa, that is big over there. Maybe we want to set up up there. That might be a, a better idea, actually. Maybe we want to go and set up on that gigantic hill right there, overlooking all of this really pretty stuff here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because then we can be the king of all we survey, and what we survey could be literally anything that we damn well please. I'm going to do that. We'll take, this, we'll take this wood that we just got, and we'll start framing up a house just over here. Damn, that is tall. That's going to look sick when it's finished. Sweet! Oh, I hope it's hollowed out as well. We can probably, like, terraform a lot of this as well, make some nice... There's a little waterfall just over there. Oh, God, I love that. Uh, we can remove a lot of these kind of, like, big hills here. But I think that I'm, it's calling, it is calling to me, much like the last session that we played, right? The last session, oh, there's dogs here, and they're kind of guarding this mining cavern. I think this is the place, you know? I think this might actually be the place. I think this is it. I think this is where we plant our shoes, right? Right here? We can still, like, plant a bunch of sakura trees right up at the top of that hill as well, because it doesn't really matter where we stick them. I'm just going to go on top of the top of the hill just to make sure that that is actually a big hill and we're not going to kind of like set up shop in like a three block wide hill, which would just be annoying. Okay, we'll come over here. Okay, we're getting to the point now where um, maybe fall damage is probably not going to be our friend. Okay, uh, good. I want to create a stairway coming up here. A stairway to heaven. Aha. Uh -huh. Because we're listening to Led Zepp. <laughs> We'll listen to a bit of Led Zeppelin in, to, in the background of this. Ah, there is a mining cave in here. Great. So we can go and torch that up. Not with, like, flint and steel kind of torched it up, but, like, what the hell is this? Is that, like, a gigantic tree? Oh, cool. This place is neat. I like this. We'll, we'll make, like, a little hollow just over there, and we'll fill it up with water, and then we'll stick it on top of a skylight. That's going to be really good looking, I think. I'm just going to bust my way through these leaves, and we'll see what's on the other side of here. What is that? Oops. What is that? Oh, that... Oh, my God, that looks sick. Okay, this is where we're setting up our base. I'm scrapping the last place that we were just working on. This is the place. Well, look at that! Oh, we're going to have so many cool vertical things around here. Nice! All right, good. Hello there, chickens. There's also animals all over the place, and I quite like my livestock. Uh, let's eat a couple of these pork chops really quickly. We'll put a chest up here. We'll keystone a chest up here, and we'll use this as kind of like our main base of operations, I think. So I think it might be a good idea to kind of like recess into the side of the cavern from down in this little pre-dug pit right here, right? Probably makes the most sense, honestly. Let's do that, and then we'll dig a gigantic room that just kind of juts out from this side of the mountain right here. Oh, that's going to look so cool from, uh, from above. Yes! Oh, I like how this is uh, already turning out, right? But how far down do we want to have the house? Because we could probably... Probably want to stick it over there, right? Oh, if only I could tree capitate that tree away. I don't have, a, don't have a, um, an axe on me. We probably want to stick it just sticking out of there. I think. Yeah, and we're going to need some kind of staircase to get up there as well. I know exactly where our other base is, so we aren't in a terribly bad spot. Right, good. Uh, we should probably just stock up on heaps and heaps of axes as well, because I found out yesterday that they just do a heap of damage. Okay, we're not actually getting anywhere from here, unfortunately. Go here, dig out a little path. Get up here. A little bit easier than we have been. Good. That's right there. I don't want to fall off. Excellent. So, 
about here, right? We probably want to start digging out from here. Where do we want to stick it? Maybe like... I'm going to start digging out here. And how far along do we want to go is the next question. Okay, shovel just broke. That's absolutely fine. I think we'll kind of like dig into here. That'll be the roof right there. Because it's probably going to be low enough for it. And we'll keep on digging all of this out. Keep on going. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, if we're going to set up here, we might want to take a crafting bench and stick it here full time because we want to be able to craft a bunch of tools, pickaxes and stuff to be able to put here. Uh, let's get a shovel. Where are the shovels at? Wooden shovel? No, nah, let's make a cobblestone shovel. Right there. Stone shovel. Perfect. Make this and then we'll start digging all of this out. We'll excavate. We're doing some big excavations right here. Nice. And I think that kind of like at that tree, we'll stop digging. Keep on going. Uh, we probably want to make a few torches if we've got some coal on us as well. Maybe. Do we have any coal? We do not. But we've got enough cobblestone to make a furnace. We can definitely make some charcoal regardless. I'm going to... What, what don't we want here? We probably don't want the um, five wheat seeds in our inventory. Let's just go ahead and stick that on the ground there. I'll put that furnace right there, and we're going to start cooking up a bunch of logs. Good. So that should make some charcoal. Then we'll keep on mining all of this out with our shovel until we get to a point where we're just kind of, like, happy to start mining with our pickaxe. All right, get all of this out. Nice, nice, nice. So technically what we're going to be making is called an earth berm, which is kind of like uh, what the hobbits used to live in. Well, did live in. Do live in, I suppose. Third age. They were kind of like travelers uh, before the before the third age, weren't they, in the second age? All right, so this is kind of where it starts getting a little bit more horizontal outwards. And we probably also want to recess into that horizontal kind of shape right there. We want to work with geometry, not against it. Okay. So probably here. Right there. We're going to be mining all of this stuff out. Start digging into here. We also have our beds. We can skip through the night. Don't worry. Very good. Take all of this stuff out. Excellent. Nice. Okay, the sun's going down. We could probably actually do with just having a sleep now. What? I can't rest. There are monsters nearby. Are you taking the piss? What do you mean there's monsters nearby? How about here? Okay, I can do it there. I just can't do it anywhere else. I think there are monsters inside of the mountain. Which we are probably going to have to be very, very suspicious of. Whenever we uh, go... Oh, poos. <laughs> Whenever we go into the mine proper. Okay, come around here. Uh, I'm going to build a staircase, kind of like going into the base of this mountain as well. Kind of like kind of like Erebor, I suppose. Yeah, I like this. Okay, let's go ahead and get the shovel back out. Get these out of the way. Should be fine all along here. Dig outwards from this area too. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent. Okay, so we want to start digging into this mountain here as well. And we also kind of want to, like, cap off the, the roof just over here as well. So that it doesn't look like absolute ass. Let's go ahead and throw those wheat seeds away. We'll get a stack of dirt in that slot right there. Put one there. Probably dig this one out so we can just kind of, like, replace our, our jump plot right there. And then we're going to mine that one out. Put a couple there. And then also, mine that one out, and replace it there and there, I think. Maybe another couple of blocks just over there. Kind of like really polish it off. It's here, here, and here, I think. Good. Now we've got a natural roof foundation there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and continue mining this out. Uh, we actually should have enough charcoal to make some torches now, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll just kind of leave this in there. We'll make more. And then I'll make a chest with some of those extra logs that we have. Where are they? Oh, we burned them all. Okay. Good to know. Go ahead and just get that out. So we'll throw those on the ground. And then we'll just make a couple of double chests, I think, because we are running rather low on space. And we'll also get one food. If this is going to be our main base of operations, probably going to be a really, really good idea. Just to have all of this stuff kind of checked off anyway. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and stick these here, here, and here. This is going to be the food one, and we are going to fill it up with all of the raw foods. We'll probably keep, like, one good food on us at all times. Bread can go down there. Pumpkins can go in there. Sugar cane can go down there. Although, we actually need to plant it. Uh, wheat seeds. We'll probably get, like, a farm on top of this base, honestly. Oh, we got lots and lots of pink petals as well. That's kind of cool. So, this is going to be the building stuff and crap chest, essentially. Let's get rid of... Oh, we've got some eggs as well. Just go ahead and throw some eggs in there. And our crap chest can take the string, this dirt, cherry planks, sure, these petals, these cherry saplings, all of these sticks because there's too many in there. And we probably also want to put the bone, the oak sapling, and not really the wheat seeds. Wheat seeds. Uh, we'll put the cartography table in there because we're not going to use it. The compass, we'll keep on us because they're kind of handy to have. And let's go ahead and start mining into this mm, kind of area here. Right, we lost our shovel. Go ahead and just make another one. Uh, we filled out our inventory with a bunch of crap that we threw on the ground, annoyingly. But we should have enough of this charcoal right now, perfect, to make ourselves some torches. Like a heap of torches. 40 torches. That'll do the trick. Just nicely. Let's kind of light all of this up here. Put all of that there. And now we're going to go back to the digging. We should probably actually get ourselves a shovel, to be quite honest. Go ahead and do that. Let's make a shovel. Tools. Page two. Iron shovel, why not? Oh, we don't have sticks, we just used them all. Okay, let's go ahead and grab them back. Stack of sticks, that's fine. And now we also definitely want to get maybe like two or three shovels. Yeah, maybe three shovels. I think it's actually going to be the, the way. Yep, perfect. Now let's go ahead and start digging out. I love this, by the way. This is probably one of my favorite instances of Minecraft. Just building an absolutely kick-ass base in a really kick-ass place. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit scary, but bear with me. I'm going to stick... I'm going to stick a glass floor kind of overlooking all of this, leading out onto a deck, which we tried to do on the bedrock edition of the game, but we didn't necessarily have a lot of time to do it. Uh, let me just also move my shoes out. I keep kicking them. I keep kicking my shoes. Very good. Okay. Uh, we probably also want to get some... Sh um, what are they? We want to enchant some shoes with feather Featherfall. I think that's... I think that's a, f a thing in this game. I don't think it's just Oblivion exclusive. We also probably want to shear up the side of this mountain to uh, kind of make it look like our house has some better... What would you call it? Uh, foundations, I suppose. Do some better foundations. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty wide area, I think. Definitely a, a very wide area. Let's start mining into here with our shovel. Handy dandy shovel. We will probably maybe come out not too far this way. Because we dip up. Oh, we probably could. We probably could come out really far this way. Like an extra three or four blocks. Or we could just continue going out that way. And then build downwards with a mezzanine floor. Why don't we do that? Uh, we'll, uh, we don't want to go one more this way, do we? No, I don't think so. Although there is a lot of, like, land over there. So we could probably just use all of the stuff over there as kind of, like, agriculture. Just flatten all of this off. Fill in all of these gaps. Oh, piss off. There's a skeleton out there. Is he coming? There he is. Oh, you penis. Coward. Face me. Ow. That hurt. Oh my god, he is a sniper. Okay, we probably don't have any arrows to fight back with, although we do have two in us, right here and right here. Let's go, what are these dickheads doing? Let's go and make a shield. We probably really need to make a shield, honestly. Uh, how do we make one? It's probably going to be under this menu, right? We could probably also make a crossbow at this point. We've got a few iron ingots back home. Shield, right here. Okay, so we need one iron ingot and a bunch of planks. Right, so we need at least an iron ingot, which we don't actually have here, but I did see some iron just around this corner where, this, where the skeleton's guarding. You know what? Screw these guys. Oh, good shot, buddy. Great shot. Here we go. I'm lighting them ablaze. I'm literally using the environment to my benefit. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. 
Okay, we're taking a few more hits than we than we necessarily want to. All right, we're almost dead. But so is he. If we can just get him to burn to death. Are you taking the piss? What? No way! Why are skeletons like this? Why do they snipe with such precision? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, God damn it. Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay. <laughs> that does hurt. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Minecraft that I have made in the hardcore mode. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord. Why don't you join it and come and hang out with the community. Until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.